actually everybody, um, you guys can all relate to it, so all the guys in the audience should start taking notes right now. <laughs> hey, my bad. My bad. Right. I see you eyeing me from the corner of your eye. We haven't even exchanged pleasantries, you're already trying to impress me, trying to pull off that nonchalant vibe. Pretending to look somewhere else, but I know once I turn around, your eyes gaze back towards where I'm at. And in your head, you're already running lines, trying to think of something witty you can say to me, hoping that I haven't heard it before, but I'm pretty sure I have. Try to catch my attention, hoping I'll return your ways of interaction. So before you come over here, let's get something over with real quick. Before we go any further, there's something I need to know. I'm not trying to offend or deflate your already huge ego, but if I am, then you're gonna have to go. Before we get past this line, I have something I need to get off my chest. And if you get what I'm saying, then I'll be glad to continue on with the rest. You see, as much as I desire you in a physical sense, I'll have no desire for you if you have no common sense. She has complexity, individual personality that brought a distinct reality, honesty, can constantly matter and flatter in what things came to be. And honestly, most of us are attracted to gratifying of certain vanities. Now that ain't me. Slowly learning perspectives in any type of mentality comes thought. Ties of faculty and facilities of many evening. Thus, reason being, I want to know you. Maybe a little bit more thinking and what you're feeling. Is it a game of test? Healing scars of the past and what we're shown to believe in. Do you see? Or am I just another interruption of your daily goings? Let me explain. I know it was kind of random in how we met, and I'm sure you yearn to everything what I have to prove and show and maybe earn. And I'm sure you can, you can please me on a sexual tip, but I gotta know it. Mentally, do you got it? Will you, able to, will you be able to look at me from the neck up, not the neck down? Can you provide a conversation that'll broaden my horizons? Can we converse about infinite topics or is this just gonna be another high school stem where we end our conversations with, no, you hang up first. No, 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 I hang up first. Okay, on the count of three, you both hang up? Is this too much for your mind to comprehend? Let me ask you this though, how do you view me? See, you've seen my obvious appearance, but you failed to see what's inside of me. You're only seeing the outward part of me, but I'll tell you what you don't see. Do you see my intellect? Can you view my intelligence? Do you wish to see my mind's content? All you see are my physical attributes, but that's not the only part of me. Questions you have to ask as to a visual of what you mean can entrap one's takes of interaction. We don't have to move into any type of the action, because I'm not the type that won't settle for any of the acting. Just scope out answers to vaccinations to these complications. Opinions? Of a visual is certain to be stereotypical, so I want to know, for every pertaining thought, is there something I'm missing? Stash and cake, mind states, mad debates? Nah. Subtract the maybes and let's stick to what's been up lately. Belated in representation of words can describe what you feel is valuable. Your speech is unique and I can dig that. Let's get back on track and talk about more what you have to offer and where you're at. When my physical beauty starts to fade away, will the intellectual beauty that I possess be a good replacement and be able to fill up that space? You see, with your mind, I want to get intimate with. Are you listening? Are you getting this? Will you entice me with your words, every syllable of every word and every stanza? Catch my attention with your similes. Provide for me the perfect imagery. I want your words to come alive right before my eyes. Your words serenade my soul with your unconventional rhymes. Are you hearing me? Do you see, hear, understand my point of view? You look a bit, in, you look a bit dazed and confused. Do you need me to break it down for you? Now, I know you ain't stupid, but this is just how I am. My thinking mentality, that is. It's all a part of me wrapped up in my personality. I just tell it like it is. This is the reality. Many questions asked and what you had in line to conversations on the telly. Why not inquire that within that time? I want to see truth within you, like shivers up your spine. And I know within many lines you probably heard many times, but I see more than just the first impression. I've seen your outward appearance and it got me digging. Now wait. Digging for inner truth and what you have to say. Dwell in the morning dew and smile lighting up a day. If only you show the deep ends of your mentals, I'll surpass anything else. But the, at the same time, these games are, are done with like every card's being dealt. 52 counts on stats we've all encountered with our pride devoured. Let's not have this part of fresh turn sour. See truth behind your teeth is what I want to believe. But is it the action that has a chance to speak? And don't approach me with some played out lay like, excuse me miss, what's your name, what's your sign? A simple hello or introduction will be enough to get my attention. And if I'm feeling the vibe you're putting off, then we'll give it a go. But if your shit is whack, then I'm sorry, it's a no. The, dif the difference between other girls and I is that I'm not limited to my eyesight. I'm way past that. Above all that, trust me, physical, attra physical attraction ain't shit unless you meet the mental requirement. I want to know if we'll be able to relate on different topics. 
verbally connect with each other, maybe drop a line or two. If our conversations hold no limit, then maybe, maybe I'll get with it. I'm just trying to have mind sex with you. Physically, will this be a one night thing and tomorrow we both move on to the next? Or for, or for the rest of this lifetime, will you be the only one to provide me with what I need? Mind sex. Vibe with you, I want to, both mentally and sexually. With all the guidelines aside, let's embark on this mind-blowing interaction, stimulation, conversation, mind sex. Enchanted minds of questionable relation. Invasion of chemistry with tied and takeable sensations. How do you see me? So I ask the same question to conclude this certain situation. Intermission of a movement of vision. Whoever is to listen but just ponders the wisdom. Your mind got a light avoiding turn criticism. So you tell me, do you see me as I would for you? So I want to know, can you elevate my mind, stimulate my soul, let this fairy tale become non-fiction, let the truth unfold within cold? Heat freezes and yet vice versa, thinking less of you. Is it a test of us? Freezes in the moment when I see you. You get what I'm telling you? I know where your, where your mind's at and I'm with that. A lesson served is a lesson learned. I vibe to rhythms I can't describe, but certain times I tend to realize not many settle for ties, just go in the wind. Your mind never lies, it's just held within. So at last, I promise, it's the last. Do you feel what I have to offer in all respectable and yet sensual aspects? This mind sex, this mind sex. Thank you.